I really got into my vlogging last week, so I thought I'd carry on and do another weekly vlog. We've got a few little bits going on. I'm dressed very flamboyantly. I'm going to a point to point. I'm just now at Leah's house, picking her up. And then we're gonna drive like an hour and 20 to go to the point to point. We need to stop on the way and get stuff for a picnic. I've dressed for like freezing cold weather. I've got so many coats in the back. I have packed a t-shirt as well, just in case. Because the forecast said it was gonna be really cold, raining all day, and now it's like, this is Leah's house, it's just not built yet. Um, but it is a very sunny day, like it's so warm. So I think I'm gonna be a bit hot, we'll see. But saying that, I am gonna be stood round, so I'd rather be too warm than too cold, because I hate being cold. <laughs> you look so cool. You look very, very cool. How are you? Just look around you, just make sure I'm getting built in uh, a few days. Okay, easy. Okay. Easy. Easy. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> Momentary. Oh, these are definitely going to fall in. Oh, I'm down. Ready? Ready? Just shake it up. Go. <laughs> Close your eyes. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> you flinch. You're like. Most embarrassing picnic table. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> What's your last thing you said? What are you doing, Dilly? He's so annoyed he's tied up. waiting for her to come out the house. I have texted her to say that I'm here, so I don't know what the hold up is, what's taking so long. We're only going climbing, which is why I'm in like, I mean, I sleep in this sometimes. This is not a glamorous occasion. This is just like, we're gonna go and have a good time and we're gonna look horrible whilst we do it. And are they not the best days? Hello. Hey, I'm here. Okay, I'm now. Okay, what, all right. What are you wearing? I'm in like, leggings and a pyjama top. <laughs> Main character vibes. So I've just had a phone call from the vet. <laughs> that was a rather loud yawn. I've just had a phone call from the vet to say that they're on their way and they should be with me in about 15, 20 minutes. They're just gonna x-ray Billy's foot. This morning he was looking a lot more comfortable. Like, he's still very lame and like hobbling, but yesterday he literally did not put his foot down on the floor. Whereas this morning he was like putting a bit of weight on it. So I just kind of took the nappies off and looked at the poultice and there has definitely, something has burst like out the back of his heel, I suppose, like just above, yeah, the, like the heel bulb. Um, there was quite a lot of like creamy, yucky fluid on that. But I would have expected, just because he's been lame for over a week now, I would have expected the fluid to be a bit more like 
black and really stinking not like it just looked quite clean and fresh so I don't know whether maybe that's something else or maybe like the poultice has been rubbing him I don't know on the phone this morning when she was like do you still want me to come out like are we still on and I was like yes please she said as it is the same foot and it does seem to be following the same pattern as last year she did ask the question about how I'd feel sending him for an MRI so that might be something worth looking into just in case it is somehow connected to last year when she said how would I feel about it I was like in theory absolutely but I am so poor at the moment like it definitely can't happen I need some more time to like get some funds together to be able to afford that because right now I'm still recovering from the colic surgery that rock climbing oh my goodness like I am in so much pain <laughs> a horrible day. Sorry guys, I'm just hibernating in the tack room. Billy's tied up having some grass. The vet's kind of just left us. And we've had some good news, I think. So she actually decided that x-raying it wasn't the right thing. She got here and I got him in from the field. And she was like, is this as lame as he's been? And I was like, no, he's dramatically improved since yesterday yesterday he would not put his foot down like at all i think i said this morning like he looked a lot more comfortable in the field and when i checked his poultice like there was something coming off it and he just looked so much more comfortable he is still lame and he's still in pain but nowhere near what he was yesterday so my vet clipped his ankle just kind of look at his heel bulbs and you can see the one on the outside is so much like it's just bright red and swollen and I said well is that not just where like the poultice has been rubbing him or like his hoof boot has been rubbing and she said I don't think so she seemed to think that if that was the case both heel bulbs would be like just as irritated but then I also said as he's been lame for over a week now I would have thought the fluid coming off his abscess would be like dirty and black not like clean looking like it was like a creamy it's like a creamy fluid coming off and I just wouldn't expect a week old abscess to look like that. Nothing seems to follow a normal pattern with Billy. She basically just said keep hot tubbing it twice a day, poultice it but don't poultice the bottom of his foot anymore just poultice the back of his heel. So we'll figure out how we're going to do that later. But what a difference a week makes. This time last week I was probably sobbing in a field and now I'm like I don't want to be premature but I think we're going to be okay. When I was speaking to my vet this morning and she was talking about sending Billy for an MRI to see if it was a keratoma and blah 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 like I will be so happy if this is just like a medium bad abscess not like devastation like last year or even worse. So hopefully fingers crossed this is the start of like new luck good luck coming I don't know is this not luxury lunchtime now well early afternoon and we're just gonna go and get Billy and hot tub his foot by the house and I think remove his poultice as well depending on how muddy the field is basically I swapped them into the other paddock over the road last night just because now I've only got one horse that needs like his foot treating it just is much more manageable to have them over the road whereas last week when like two out of three needed medical first aid assistance it was just too much to like have them over the road and like drag them all the way up to the tack room every day but now we're living a new life we're like our problems seem to be slowly resolving and thank god like last week i mean goodness woman how much are you gonna cry i cried so much and i'm not an emotional person but last week really really got me down we're gonna go get billy hot tub his foot remove the poultice depending on 
how muddy that paddock is like ideally that's wonky ideally where his abscess appears to have burst out from which is like right on the back of his heel bulb we could do with keeping the area clean so it just depends how muddy the field is i don't know i don't know let's go get the boy well this week we're crying because of the weather not because of horses thank goodness oh um don't look at these we're doing those i can't do everything at once okay give me a break bike in the background as if I ever go on it it's um it's been a while I go through phases I'm either really into it and I'll do it like four or five times a week or I won't touch it for a year and at the moment we're kind of probably at a year oopsie anyway it's Friday morning and we've got another vet appointment today but not for the horses thank god we're taking the dogs to the vets they both need their boosters I don't know if you've noticed the vibe of this vlog, like last week's was so heavy on the horses, like I was spending so many hours hot tubbing and pulsing and bandaging their feet. But this week, because we've kind of turned a corner, McAllister I don't need to do anything with, and Billy's poultice is now off, and all I need to do is hot tub it twice a day. So that's why I'm not spending as much time with the horses. And it's so nice to have a break, I can't even tell you. Are you excited? You wait until you realise where we're going. You're not going to be so happy. Whoa. Oh. There's a barbecue in my boot. What? Bless you. I am absolutely livid. I've just taken both the dogs for their vaccinations. They were as good as gold. And when I was in there, I said to the vet that I had noticed possibly a splint or something on Otis's front leg. What did he think of it? There's just a little lump on the outside of his leg. Can you see it? I noticed it a few months ago. It's not really grown or anything. I just thought I'd get it checked out today. So the vet was like having a good feel around and he was like, I can move it, he said, but I do think it's like growth on the bone or it's something to do with the bone. He said, the only way we'll know for sure is to x-ray it. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'm a pro x-ray. He's like, how much is that going to cost me? Bearing in mind, I can get a horse x-rayed for, I think 150, 170 for two x-rays. This guy wanted to charge me 614 pounds. What the hell? And then he also checked Baby Dill over because he needed his booster. They both went to the vets like a month ago. Good as gold, everything was fine. Today, not only does he say that Otis needs an x-ray for £614, he was then checking Baby Dill over and he says he's got a two out of six heart murmur and that needs to be investigated. You know, this guy is a stranger. I've never used him before. I'd never use him again based on today's performance. I'm just going to keep an eye on it. If his leg grows, I'll get it x-rayed, probably by my horse vet because them yeah 
it's a good week for the horses, it's a bad week for the dogs, and a worse week for my bank account. Tell me this isn't a look. It is so miserable outside. It's freezing cold. I'm wearing like two coats, a big jumper. I've got my little hat on to keep my hair dry because I washed it yesterday and I don't want it to go all like manky. We're getting Billy. We're going to go and hot tub his hoof. I've calmed down a bit from the whole dog vet experience. I just, I do think I'm going to move practices though. I think it is that bad. Like, I don't think I can explain it to you if you weren't there, but he was just the most unlikable, untrustworthy vet I've ever met. Like, I've never had it where I've tried to ask questions. Like when he was talking about Baby Dill's heart murmur, saying that he needed to go for investigation and then he'd need medication and possibly an operation. I was like, well, can we not just give him medication and see if that improves it? Or, you know, I don't know. I was just asking questions, trying to like understand. And he literally just said to me, why would I lie to you? I'm not lying to you. It's like, hang on. Like, if that was my horse vet, like all of the vets I have for my horses from the same practice, they're all brilliant. And they always like really talk things through with you, make sure that you understand. And you kind of, there's lots of different ways to do things. And you kind of agree the best route together and you feel like it's a team effort. But this guy was literally just like, this is what I suggest and you can't ask any questions because I'm a vet. I was like, I don't play like that. That's not, that's not for me. So I am calming down, I promise. But I do think I'm gonna get a new vet practice because I'm not, I'm not putting up with that. It's not fair. I didn't deserve that. The boys didn't deserve that. Look at them in their coats. You didn't deserve that either, did you? You poor boys. and hot tub Billy's foot in the field. I did it in the field last night and it was actually so much easier. So we're just gonna do that. I've got my very hot bucket of salt water, Epsom salts. The area itself is looking so much better, but he's still lame on it. Nowhere near as lame, but you know, it's clearly, clearly visible lameness. In my head, it just feels like Sunday, Monday is a logical time for this to all be over. So if he's not fine by Monday, we'll probably have to think about getting the vet back out. I'm in a bit of a rush, sorry, can you tell? Um, after I've done Billy's foot, I'm going to a puppy trial show. Basically the hunt that I go out with, there's like a big puppy show in a few weeks time. And today's like a training session and they texted me yesterday, <clears throat> <clears throat> fucking my throat. They texted me yesterday and just said, would I help out this morning? So we've got to be there in an hour. And I've got to factor into that, like 20 minutes for hot tub time. So. It's now super, super sunny. I think I'm gonna be far too warm like this, but I've got options. I'm wearing so many layers. I just don't know, you cannot trust the weather. You cannot. Brigand out! Brigand out! <laughs> Three, 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 
film it. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh! Hello! I can't really film it. with my outfit and I have got some trousers in my basket a cute little wicker basket isn't that adorable because I think we're going to try and shoot some like funny TikTok videos so we kind of need to be a little bit like countryfied but to the point where it's like no one would actually wear this so that's why but I still think it's cute it's giving like Britney Spears like baby one more time very Sunday today like it it is Sunday but we are like extremely Sunday it's now half past nine I think I've been up for a couple of hours just like drinking cups of tea and scrolling social media and uh now we just need to go out and hot tub Billy's hoof I had so much fun yesterday it was just really good it was like I think it's just so nice to do something different and I have spent years spending like all of my free time riding horses and don't get me wrong, I, I've got a hair on my camera lens, ooh. Um, don't get me wrong, like I absolutely love my horses and riding them, but it's quite nice, like I am enjoying this break. It's been very refreshing. Is that Fuck him. Is that Fuck him. Is that Fuck him. Is that Is that... 